Hello, welcome back. So it's time for our next scenario. So as part of this scenario, we will learn how to interact with tables and rows. And we're going to be doing two assertions. The first one is to assert the total number of rows in the table. And the second one would be to asserting the CSS property of the elements. Well, again, the key learning over here is how to work with index, since we're going to be working with multiple rows, as well as how to work with CSS properties, or essentially how to verify CSS property for any element. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to head over to our website. All right, so I'm over here on our website. And in this time, we're going to go to a new page. I'm going to click on the standings. Now within the standings right here, you can see all of these table being shown up with different rows. So if we do right click and inspect, the very first thing we're going to do is going to be very simple assertion and that would be counting the total rows. So here we have 10 rows. So we simply want to count that it should have total 10 rows. So that is going to be our first assertion. The second one we're going to see is after this fourth row, we should see this line. Now this line is added through a CSS property. So let's see how that is done. So if I just hover over to this fourth row right here, and let's see, this is the fourth row. So this fourth row, as you can see, is different than all the other rows. It actually has this particular class, which is table body qualifier. So this means that this particular qualifier class is adding this border right at the bottom. And we can verify that by simply going over here in the CSS property. So you see here, table body qualifier actually has a border bottom, which is this pink color right there. So this is what we're going to do. We will make sure that the fourth row actually has the class table body qualifier. Not only we will make sure this has the class table body qualifier, you also need to make sure that it should have a CSS of border bottom with two pixels solid which is being used right here. So if you can open that up and you can see here border bottom and this is 0.2 RAM solid, blah, 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 all this thing. So you can just copy this whole thing and try to run it and see what you get back. By the way, you can just do right click, copy value, and this will copy the CSS value. So that's what we're gonna be verifying as part of this test. So go ahead and try this out on your own. The first session is to count all of the rows. Make sure there should be 10 rows. The second one should be the class should be there, which is table body qualifier. Remember, we don't need the entire class. We only need the partial class. So we just need this part right here. And the third one is verifying that the CSS property should be this. Now, when you're going to be doing the CSS property, this might actually fail because here you can see it's doing 0.2 rem solid var blah, blah, blah. So try to just add in the border bottom and then try to do, let's say the solid 0.2 rem. That will most likely fail for you, but whatever expected playwright will pick, use that expected as part of your test. So go ahead and try this out on your own, and then I will show you how to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and try to implement our scenario four. The first assertion will be asserting our entire rows. So for that, I'm gonna first get access to our the table. So let's copy this thing. So this is my table right here. Now the table, has a class called table. Within that, we have the body, which is the table body, and then we have the rows, table rows. So it's divided into table, header, body, table rows, and then we have 10 rows right there. So to find that, we can simply do table and then do T body, or basically the body of that particular table. And then we're gonna do TR, which is gonna be my rows. And you can see here we have 10 rows. So that's the count we wanna verify. So let me copy this and head back to VS Code. And I will simply paste that right here in a comment section and then copy this entire test and then paste it right here. A lot of these things we don't need, so we're gonna get rid of the entire thing. And I'm gonna name this one as verify table rows, or maybe let's do this. Verify table is divided into two section with correct number of rows. So this will kind of cover that it should have 10 rows and also the fourth row should have that qualifier class. And then this should go to the standings page. So I will update this to standings. Now the first session is count the number of rows. So let's do count the total number of rows. 
So for that, I'm going to add in this assertion. So we'll do const total rows. And it should be this one, page.locator. Simply add that in. And I'm going to simply add my assertion. I will say await, expect total rows. Now we have a count assertion. So I can do dot to have count, which is pretty convenient. And I can say the count should be 10. So what we're doing is it's going to get access to this locator and it's going to check how many locators we have here. I'm saying, hey, the total number of locators should be 10. That's pretty much what we're trying to do here as part of the count. And you can hear it says ensures that the locator resolved to an exact number of DOM nodes. So it will check how many nodes we have. I'm saying we should have 10 nodes equal to 10 rows. Let's run this to make sure this works. And look at that, we ran our test and it successfully passed. Perfect. The next one is verify that the fourth row has the class table body qualifier. So verify the fourth row has the border class. So we already have access to the rows, so we can verify the class as well. So I'm going to do await, expect, total rows. Now I can remember we did init, so we can use the same thing. I'm going to do init. Now init is actually zero based. So here it returns locator to the nth matching element. It's zero based. So we're not going to do one, two, three, four, fourth row. Fourth row is actually going to be the third row. So I'm going to do third. And then we have again, nice helpful method here to have class. Now the class we need is table body qualifier. So let's add that in here and try to run this and see what we get back. All right, so it seems like our test is failing and it's failing because the received is this entire class table body, table body qualifier. Now, if you want, you can simply just add in the entire thing that is totally possible and your test will work. Or with Playwright, each assertion allows you to use regex. So we can use regex in this condition as well to verify that we only check for table body qualifier. So I'm going to obviously show you how to do that. So let's go back and do it. So instead of using a string, I can say use a regex and you can do that by adding two forward slash right here. And it will, in my case, it changes the colors and to show that this is a regex. Now in regex to verify anything should be there before that you can do dot star. All I'm saying is, hey, Anything that is before that, I don't care as long as table body qualifier is there. I can do the same thing to end that as well. I'm saying anything after that, I don't care either because tomorrow I might add another class in there. So that's why to keep our test really generic, I'm saying as long as the fourth row has this class table body qualifier, my test should work. So let's run this to see whether it would work this time. And there you go. This time my test passed successfully. Perfect. So we have verified that it should have the border class. Now we also want to verify that it should have the CSS property. So verify the CSS property. So for that, we can copy the same thing. And here I'm going to do the same thing. It should be the third row. But instead of doing to have class, we should use to have CSS. Again, Playwright makes it super easy. We have Assertions for pretty much everything. And in this, it's telling me, hey, I can do, let's say the name. What do I want the name to be? In my case, the name of the CSS property should be border bottom and then the value that we should have. So let's do that. So the value should be, well, sorry, the property should be border bottom. And the value should be, let's copy the value from our Chrome here. I'm going to go and scroll down, find the fourth row. which is this one. And then I'm going to copy this value. Now let's go back to VS code and paste that value right here. All right, so we're getting 0.2 RAM solid var P002. Let's run this. Sometimes the CSS property will be different based on the way it's trying to fetch it. So in this case, I'm using this one, but it might be something else when Playwright is trying to fetch that. So let's run this. All right, so it filled and let's see what we're getting. So it's saying the received is actually two pixel solid. So at 0.2 RAM, it converted to two pixel. 
it should be solid rgb 2550165 so it also converted the color so that's fine because it's still using the same thing i can copy this whole thing and just put it over there i can let's say switch it to this thing now let's say in future they end up changing the color or some theme changes and they update the color and we don't really want this rgb to be there to be as hard coded we can again use regex right we just learned how to do that so we can just do forward slash and i can remove the color and i can simply just do dot star forward slash so i'm saying hey i don't really care what it's there after the solid so it can be any color as long as it's two pixel solid has a border bottom we are good so we are verifying it should have a class it should have a border bottom any color is okay in my case Let's run this to make sure whether this would work this time. And there you go, my test successfully passed. Awesome. So let's do a quick review. So we learned how to verify the number of rows. So we accessed by doing table, T body, table row. We were able to do that by checking the number of nodes. Now, again, this can be applied to any format. If you want to check in number of nodes for your locator, you can use dot to have count. Then we checked how to access uh, nth a row or nth element by doing dot nth and then accessing the third element or in this case the fourth row and checking the class for that so the class is table body qualifier here we use regex to make sure we are not getting access to the entire class only getting the specific class then we also verified the css property make sure it's border bottom it can be any key and value in this case it's border bottom and anything else that we want to use in here can be used as well and then you verified the value. Even for value, we added a regex, which was nice. So we said two pixel solid, and then anything after that would work. So that's it for the scenario, guys. This one was comparatively straightforward, and hopefully you learned a few new things in this one. So let's take a look at our next scenario to see what we will cover.